think that three out of my four had ADD. Mm. They were undiagnosed as children. And today I have two out of four are diagnosed with ADD and they're do, wow. they're taking care of it. and they're adults now so they can mm-hmm. take care of it themselves and and manage it themselves right all my kids were gifted which mm. some of you are like oh you have gifted kids oh no. you have gifted yes. kids like oh you have gifted kids i'm so sorry yes. um, <laughs> you know if you have a gifted kid what takes a average child not that there is one but you take an average child 20 minutes it takes your gifted kid five you just sat down with a cup of tea and they're bucket back up again it's like, mm-hmm. oh, can you just settle a minute. So, yes. yes, they were gifted and that's exciting, but it's also a lot more challenging on your end. I think I um, had to teach my daughter like twice the amount of subjects. And actually she had two transcripts full of high school credits by the time she graduated because I had to keep her busy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, and yes. so Right. And so I kind of want to tell you one of those things about the gifted. My oldest, Jonathan, when he was in second grade, and I need to back up and, and kind of tell you real quick here. Mm-hmm. We actually didn't homeschool because we live in a very small area, a small community. We live in a town of 200 people. We actually mm-hmm. live 17 miles outside the town. So when my kids went to school, uh, my one daughter had a class of seven. Kids. Yeah. That's it. My youngest, Matthew, had a class of three children. That's it. That was the entire (laughs) class. Um, So very, very small. So they were kind of homeschooled at school. Um, Mm -hmm. I kept ahead of the teachers. Again, I had mentioned I taught them how to read before they went to school. I kept ahead of their math for probably about three years. So they kind of just went to school so I could do other things. And at that point, I'm, I'm running a business too. So <laughs> right. like it was kind of like your co-op. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it was kind of nice. So they, they did that. But Jonathan in second grade was was dealing with some challenges. He was dealing with some some personally, um, how do I how do I say this right? He, he was not making the best decisions mm-hmm. as a second grader. And, and the teacher said, you know, you really need to get him tested. He's having some challenges. We may have to hold him back. Well, mm. my firstborn, I don't know what to do with these kids. I've never had one before. So <laughs> I went and had him tested and he was reading at the eighth grade level and he was doing his math at the third grade level. Mm. So he was bored out of his skull. Yeah. And we actually contemplated um, homeschooling at that point. <laughs> and we ended up moving to the town where we live now because he was, he was in a slightly bigger school. We moved to the town where we are now. And I told the teachers there that you can't just give him more homework because mm. he's going to he's going to take that that sheet of paper, ball it up, you know, and aim it for your forehead and just to get some, just to get some excitement happening. <laughs> right. so they had things, you know, kind of like you said with your daughter, they would give him things like he would go and chart the daily temperatures or the wind speed and mm. create a chart. Mm-hmm. So they were giving him work above and beyond to keep him mentally occupied. Right. We actually had to deal with the teachers for him that he could read anytime he wanted during any classes, as long as his grades were up. Hmm. He would catch on to something very quick. Again, because he was gifted, he would catch on very quick. He'd read a book, take the test. And as long again, as his grades were fine, they just let him go. So hmm. he found ways to adapt to make it work. And again, that kind of comes back to helping your kids adapt in whatever you're hmm. setting, whether you're homeschooling and just your family, you're doing co-ops, you know, perhaps you are in the school setting, advocate for your children to get them what they need. 